guys, welcome to Thoughtful Thursday. Today we are talking about how to recover from rock bottom. I have five steps for you guys. Make sure you put in the comments what's your favorite step. And I want to hear from you guys. So make sure you comment, subscribe, like, share, whatever is your pleasure. <laughs> All right, guys, let's get right into it because I know there are going to be rock bottom moments in our lives. And if you've not had one before, it's coming, baby. Before we get started, I will say recovering from rock bottom is probably one of the most sturdiest places because you can create a solid foundation. So let's get started. Step one, give yourself grace. We are so forgiving of everyone else, and we refuse to forgive ourselves. Now, is that fair? No. No. <laughs> Give yourself grace. And in the words of one of my favorites, Lisa Nichols, you want to give yourself a thousand second chances. And when you reach 999, hit reset. Step number two, self-reflection. The reason self-reflection is the second part of this process is because you have to know what you did wrong in order to do better moving forward. Yes, you want to forgive yourself and you give yourself that grace, but we want to learn the lesson so that we don't have to get here again. Okay? Even when it's not your fault, it's still your responsibility to clean up the mess in your own life. So with that being said, it comes with self-reflection, it comes with healing, it, that comes with time, it comes with making sure that you're doing the work to, to create a better life in your future. Step number three, create a game plan. <sighs> I don't know how many people, but there, there's way too many people I know who have these dreams and these aspirations and these goals with no action plan. You need an action plan so that you know what you're going to do next. What's the first step? What's the next step? What are you going to do? How are you going to accomplish this? Yes, that's a great goal, but how are you going to do it? What are you going to do? Great. You're on board for this goal. What are you going to do? Take that big goal and break it down into actionable steps to ensure that you're doing what you're able to, to ensure that you can actually accomplish it. What's step one? And if you don't know, I promise you Google knows. That's just what it is. Step number four, my personal favorite, accountability is key. Accountability is key. That's it. That's all. And the reason accountability works, knowing that someone's watching and checking and following up on your progress makes a difference. So I recently challenged myself to run a mile every day for the month of May. Child, this is a very difficult challenge. However, I knew I needed accountability in order to successfully accomplish this goal. What that meant for me was being sure that I have my best friend who knows and I send her pictures of my uh, workouts every day. And then also, I have a, a Facebook group that was created. I simply put it out there. I was like, hey, guys, does anyone want to join me in this challenge? And I have a handful of people who stepped up to the challenge, and they asked to create a Facebook group, so I did. With this Facebook group, I have, like, we all post, like, hey, I got my mile done. Hey, I did more than my mile. Hey, I did this today. Hey, I did that today. And we're able to hold each other accountable and also provide encouragement to one another. And that's what it's really all about, for sure. But accountability is key 
to reaching your goals and recovering from that rock bottom. Because if you reach rock bottom, it's probably something you struggle with or it's probably an area that you struggle. So let's put some accountability in place to hold you accountable to the action plan that you just created in step three. Step number five, live your best life. Now, this is the Nicole's Network favorite, um, but we want to live our best lives and you want to be committed to that process. Yes, you've hit rock bottom, but that means you have room to go forward from there. Cool. Let's do it. Live your best life. Relieve yourself of that grief, that disappointment, that frustration, and work the process. Learn your lessons. Create a game plan for moving forward. Have people in your life holding you accountable, and your best life is available to you. Cool. Let's do a little recap. And as I'm recapping, make sure you comment your favorite step, okay? Step one, give yourself grace. Step two, self-reflection. Step number three, create a game plan. Step number four, Tierra Nicole's favorite, accountability is key. And step number five, live your best life. All right, guys, make sure you comment any Thoughtful Thursdays, that topics that you want to discuss. We're here to talk about the how-tos of being a successful business owner, being a successful human in this world. So comment any topics that you want to discuss, as well as make sure you subscribe. Make sure you subscribe so that you are the first to know when we have a new video uploaded. All right, guys.